Colon cancer kills more people each year than breast or prostate cancer. And preventing those 50,000 deaths depends on finding the cancer early. Now, scientists in Evanston say there may be breakthrough technology that does that with nothing more than a tiny light on the end of a thread. Once you reach your 50th birthday, the American Cancer Society says it's time to get a screening for colon cancer. Doctors say the cheapest method is a yearly fecal test, but it's not nearly as accurate as the gold standard, a colonoscopy. That's great. But how many people who should get one actually do? Government figures say the number may be as low as 10 percent, partly because many people are uninsured, but also because of something more basic. Getting people over the hurdle of actually having something put into their rear end is really uh, uh, qu quite a job to do. But now there's an entirely new type of colon cancer screening. This video, shot by Evanston Northwestern Healthcare, shows a patient getting it. It's part of a study comparing a colonoscopy, which probes the entire colon, with this painless fiber optic thread, which only needs to be inserted a few inches. One of the inventors, biomedical engineer Vadim Backman. Using this technology, we can pick up very subtle changes in the cells. So as the light beam illuminates one part of the colon, it's also detecting the potential for cancerous polyps elsewhere. That's because what causes cancer leads to a change in all of the colon's cells. And the light reflects those changes back into the computer. By looking at uh, the rectum, the very end of the colon, we're able to predict uh, who, ha who is going to have a polyp with really quite remarkable accuracy. Maribel Meisel's a big believer in the technology after having had both kinds of colonoscopies. And if they get it to the point where, you know, any MD, any doctor can do it during a physical exam, that, that just sounds fantastic. Of course, these are early results and they need to be confirmed by several more years of research. And if it turns out you have a polyp, you will still need a colonoscopy to find and remove it. But this new technology may mean only the people who really need colonoscopies have to get them. And today's Health Watch information is also available on our website at NBC5.com. Back to you, Don. All right, Nasita, thank you.